Hey everyone, Scott with Air Gunner Review. So I've got a question, and please leave your comments down below. Uh, if you were doing a head-to-head -head test between the HDR revolver or the HDP pistol, would you use the same ammunition, same projectiles to keep it apples to apples, or would you use the best suited projectiles that you know would work the best in your gun to give it the best results. Now, this is a topic because of, I did a video over a year ago, and it was entitled, Seven Reasons the Humorex Pistol is Better Than the TR-50. Now, to, to be honest with you, the TR-50, I could easily come up with 10 reasons why you should buy this, especially now because they've made so many different mods to it. Um, um, and it's an awesome uh, pistol in its own right. However, uh, the comments that I got, the, it was very interesting because the people who liked the HDP 50 thought it was an excellent review, but the HD, the people who watched the, uh, the, the review who are more in favor with the HDR, uh, they thought it was not so good. And the reason for that was because the HDP 50 actually came out ahead had a little bit more power, uh, more average joules in it, and seemed to be more accurate. So this is the point of discussion today, and we are going to retest my theory on this um, because, like I said, the people got upset because I was using, in the HDR, I was using the Devastator rounds. These are 4.7 gram, but in the HDP 50, I was using, these are nylon shell with, um, with a um, metal ball bearing inside them. They work really well in, inside the HDP 50, and they are 4 gram. So one's 4 gram, the other one's 4.7 gram. So I had a lot of comments on that saying, well, you know, it's not apples to apples. You, you should always use the same ammunition. The 4.7 was probably um, much heavier. And so, of course, you didn't get uh, the amount of uh, power that you should have. This is the argument. Now, to me, my argument is that you, when you're doing a test, a head-to-head -head test, on two completely different um, launchers, I wanted to use what I felt was the best rounds for this to make it stand out and also for this and then let it go through. However, we are going to retest this whole thing and we're going to see using the same ammunition to see if, um, if this holds true. So we're going to be using these jawbreakers. These are 1.1 gram um, jawbreakers and they fit into both of these perfectly. And it's the only one that I actually have that fits in great. Uh, uh, th this four gram doesn't fit good into the um, HDR at, or, or the TR50, I should say. So, um, yeah, so we're going to retest that. Now, as far as power, um, the, H uh, the TR50 or HDR50, however you want to call it, um, it used to have the seven and a half joule valve in it. I replaced it with the 11 joule valve. At the same time, I removed the valve restrictor out of it. And I didn't need to replace the valve in the HTP 50. All I did is remove the valve. Um, and that's, that's, that's the um, valve restrictor, I should say. So that is all I've done to that. So let's go out let's load these up both of them with this and we're going to use the same co2 um, keep everything the same and see if the results are different so i'm going to leave you a link up here of the uh the, the review i did before which is seven reasons the humorex pistol is a better than the tr50 uh, you'll see the the hcp50 came out better in power and we're going to see if that still holds true so without further ado, let's get it going. All right, here comes the crying test to see which one has a little more power. And uh, here are my yellow jaw breakers, 1.1 gram. 
One, two, three, four, five, one more. Six, all loaded up. Let's close this little guy. She's ready to fire. Except I gotta, of course, hit this, which I have not done yet. And the TR-50, same ones going in. Maybe. Let's help if I put it in right. There we go. All right, there we go. We're here. Umarex CO2, fresh CO2 has not been punctured yet. Let's do that. We are punctured, we're ready to fire. Need some safety glasses on. All right, I'm gonna alternate between the two. First shot, let's see what happens. Four hundred and ninety two. Okay, here comes the TR fifty. Charged. Let's see our first shot here. Four hundred and seventy four. Back to the HTP fifty. Five hundred. TR fifty. Four seventy eight. HDP fifty four ninety six HDP fifty. I'm, I'm sorry, the uh, TR fifty four seventy eight. HTP fifty four ninety six TR fifty four seventy four HTP fifty Four ninety four TR fifty four seventy eight last one HDP fifty Four hundred ninety six and last one for the TR fifty four seventy four. So there we have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the accuracy test now, and I have replaced the CO two. So we're using uh, a fresh CO two. You can see is not the indicator is not up. I am using the same projectiles and I will be shooting all six of these first, then swapping out the target for a, for a separate one so we can compare the two to see which one has more accuracy. Those are loaded in here. You can see the yellow and we're going to pop it. We're shooting at a distance of 18 feet and oops, maybe this won't pop. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh, 
Okay, sorry about that. Let's try it again. Ah, there we go. Let's see what happens here. Accuracy. Shooting for the red uh, center mass right there of that little person. Let's see what happens. All right, that's all six. Let's see the target. Obviously the grouping is not good. Um, it's really a light, I mean, it could be me, but I've had much tighter groups with this, this gun, absolutely. But here we have it, uh, and we'll go over this again. The farthest one was right here, um, and all the rest, there were two, whoops, one all the way into the red, another one red, black, black, black on the eight, black on the eight. So we have one here, one on the nine, one splitting the nine and eight, uh, another eight and eight. And then up here is past the seven. Let's see what the TR-50 will do now. Okay, reloaded with the stadium the yellow jawbreakers. Going back in. And not charged yet. We're all charged. We're ready to go. Let's see the accuracy on this baby. Same distance, just a new target up there. Let's see what we got. I don't remember how many that was. Yeah, we're out. Well, I got to give it to it. This had much better accuracy this time than the last time I tested. That was really good accuracy using those lightweight little guys. Let's take a look. Okay, it's definitely the winner here as far as uh, the shooting ability, the uh, accuracy. Uh, one in the nine, two, three, four, five. I'm suspecting one of these were maybe that one could, has two holes. I'm not too sure, but it's got to be probably three, four, five, and six right here. So accuracy, uh, using those lightweight definitely is... Uh, it's good. It wouldn't be my ammo choice, of course, but the but it doesn't matter. It still um, outperformed in accuracy. All right, guys. So let's sum this up really quickly. Um, as you saw when I was doing the comparison, right there, shooting um, one than the other, you could tell right away the HTP fifty pr performed better in this test. Uh, six shot average was four ninety five for the H feet per second with the HTP fifty. Uh, the TR-50 six-shot average was 476 feet per second. Um, the HTP-50 was 12.45 joules. That's the average spread out, taking all the six. That was the average, 12.45, where the TR-50 was 11.52, which, if you look at the numbers from uh, a little over a year ago, um, the... Definitely the TR-50 did better using the Devastator rounds that were heavier, um, and that they came out 12.1. So, um, you know, it doesn't always mean apples to apples when you are uh, doing a comparison. And, and I prefer, for a, prefer a real test where you are, you are using the best 
um, the, 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 the best rounds for the gun when you're doing a comparison, um, not equal, uh, because I don't think that's fair. Uh, but anyway, uh, having having said that, the accuracy was different this time. It was more accurate use it for the uh, TR50 than the um, than the HCP50. We'll take a look at that real quickly. Let me just bring this guy up here, like so, and we will compare them side by side if we can. Let me just see if I can get this up a little higher. And bent over a little bit more. All right, there we go. All right, so TR50 by far was much better uh, in this one. I had I think three here in the in the red, and that's four, five, and six down to the seven. Uh, but the grouping right here, uh, that one's just into the red. So really, four shots were into the red. Um, and this one was closed. That one's, you know, was by far uh, here. And we have a shot to the neck. And um, we only had one, one and a half here. So the grouping definitely goes to the TR-50 in this round. Uh, so the smaller round ones did outperform the Devastator uh, rounds for that. Um, still, I don't think I would use, that's not the best ammo, uh, you know, little one uh one gram but i'm sure there's uh other other than devastator of course now there's plenty to get the d's d's bullets and several different rounds that would be uh more impressive i think for the tr50 but anyway that's how it summed up this time and i hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, hopefully i redeemed myself a little bit um both both guns are awesome value and um i would pick them up if you haven't already hey thanks guys for watching i will catch you on the next one